What's up, everybody? I'm Banaleva. You can call me DJ. Happy Friday. Unfortunately, this video was supposed to come out yesterday, but as I'm going to explain a little later, I we couldn't. We were literally shooting last night. We were shooting some footage of a scene from the movie, definitely, maybe. It was going to be a recreation episode, but because of things that happened, we weren't able to do that. So instead, what I did was, thanks to Monica, she gave me the idea of just taking one of the scenes from a movie that I've been writing for a bit, that I'm kind of stuck on right now, but it was a scene that I, I really liked. It's kind of nice. I reworked it a little bit and actually made it better. But I, I ripped a scene from that film script that I was writing and, and that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, we filmed it earlier this morning and now hopefully you're seeing it by the end of the day today. <laughs> I didn't really shoot too much behind the scenes because, you know, of course, I just I kind of wanted to get it done and I wanted to get everything as good as I could and, and as, as little time as I could. But regardless, I, it came out in a way that I am relatively happy with. You know, the, the dialogue scenes are really good. I'm still kind of working on and learning how to do the bigger scenes, the establishing shots and things like that. But it's how it is for now. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy the scene. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more scenes from this movie specifically. And, and yeah, we'll move forward. Enjoy the scene. Mm, you're cute. Thank you. You know, I'd kiss you, but you'd probably jump up and stick to the ceiling like Tom. Tom and Jerry? No, I, I know what you mean. I, I just, that, that's, that's the second Cartoon Network show that you've mentioned. And? And I've had to train myself to avoid talking about loving cartoons and anime. Hey, why? I don't know. I just, people would always look at me funny or, or they would tease me or Honestly, just flat out make me feel weird about it. But why should somebody else's boring perspective on something that you love impact how often you enjoy that thing? I mean, it's a little harder when that someone is the person that you're dating. Gross. Clearly, they were the wrong person. Uh, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Well, isn't being in a relationship about compromise? Uh, yeah, obviously, but... Okay, why do you love cartoons? I, I, I don't know. I've never thought about it in depth before. I just... I. I watched them growing up. I, I like them. I've always liked them. And? And I... I guess it, it helped me expand my imagination. Made me have a, a, a more fun perspective to life. Exactly. Relationships are about compromise, sure, but... None of it means you have to give up something you have a genuine connection to. Okay, but what if that person just doesn't like the same thing you do? That's fine. Relationships shouldn't be about two people doing everything together all the time and liking all the same stuff. God, that's boring as hell. It should be about two individuals who happen to be together and be in a relationship. What about that whole phrase, doing things together builds a stronger bond? I'm pretty sure I've heard that from enough people to make me feel like it has some semblance of truth. But the whole being a unit thing is the reason why so many parents from our generation got divorced later in life. You know, compromising away their genuine interests. And then, miraculously, they found themselves while doing things they never thought they would even try. I guess I never thought about it like that. You know, it makes sense though, because my only frame of reference was the exact opposite of everything you just described. Parents get divorced later in life? Oh, yeah. Because yours did too? Oh, God, no. They're still very much in love. Oh, well, that's nice for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last night we were shooting the scene recreation from Definitely Maybe, and we had to stop because we were at the top level of a parking garage. Security came up and said that we weren't allowed to be filming there, even though I worked there. I told them that I worked there, and, you know, Realistically, the, the guy who came up to us was very kind and he was very nice about everything, but unfortunately, we still weren't allowed to film there. My apologies. I don't mean to bother you. I just got called over because surveillance said me here, otherwise I wouldn't care. You good, man? You said you're filming here? Are you working for a company or did... No, it's my own YouTube channel. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry to bother you, man. Only because surveillance called me. Other than that, I don't actually give a shit if you film. You're yeah. not causing me harm. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're fine. If they say it's okay, I'll leave you alone. Otherwise, if surveillance says, it's actually surveillance you gotta watch out for. If they say you have to leave, then I apologize. So today, we are filming an original thing that I wrote from, we're filming an original thing that I wrote that's actually, it's actually an excerpt from excerpt it's a little piece from a movie that I was writing or am writing that I'm a little stuck on, but that's that's what we're doing now. Um, and you know, gotta roll with the punches sometimes. Uh, take three. Out. Second six. You cute. <laughs> You know, I'd kiss you, but you'd probably jump up and stick to the te teeling. <laughs> He's gonna take it from jump up. Um, thank you. You know, I'd kiss you, but you'd probably jump up to the ceiling and get stuck. Like, Tom, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, behind the scenes. I think my favorite thing about filmmaking is how much you have to cheat a lot of things a lot of times. Just to make the, the, the shot look like it makes sense. Like, we have to move all of this, first of all, <laughs> We covered this, we covered this. We had to move this whole thing and all of these things from this little corner here so I could put the camera there. But then the couch is clearly not where it's nor it normally is and it's all tilted, it's tilted this way and just, I love it. And then they miraculously find themselves later. Mm. That was a natural reaction, so now I'm thinking about it too much. So you should do that. Alright everybody, that was the scene. I'm pretty happy with the dialogue. I'm pretty happy with the writing. I'm not gonna lie. I think it was decent. This was Monica's first time ever actually acting in this sort of capacity. She's done commercials and things like that before for like social media and you know digital media type of things, but she's never really had an acting sort of thing. The only acting she's ever really done is helping me with my self-tapes and things like that. And she's Genuinely very good and I tell her all the time. Hopefully you guys will help me convince her that she is actually really good at it But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching next week I don't know what's gonna happen next week, man I always feel like I have a plan and then all of a sudden things change. Well, you know what? That's just how it is. That's just life, right? I'm a pro I'm a uh, I'm a feel-good YouTube channel. I don't know man. Anyways, thank you for watching I'm Donna Leva. You can call me DJ. I will. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, Monica is going to be very angry at me. Thank you. Bye.